Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we will explore the amazing world of fingerprints and learn how they are a special gift from Allah. Our team members are me, Al Safa Zaman Wasi. I am Mahdi Sini Choudhury. And I am Mutami Mahshan. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allah has created each person with a distinct identity, just like how every fingerprints are unique. Fingerprints are distinctive patterns etched with intricately woven ridges and valleys that grace the surface of our skin, adorning not only our fingers but also embellishing our palms and toes with an individuality so unique and intricate. A delta fingerprint is a rare pattern consisting of at least two deltas or points where ridges join together. Deltas can be arranged in various ways such as plain prints with two deltas, central pocket prints with two deltas, double loop rolls with two deltas and even accidental rolls with two or more deltas. It is estimated that less than one in 1000 people has these unique fingerprints. Now my friend Motamim Ahsan will be speaking more about fingerprints. Now, I am going to say the advantages and the disadvantages of the fingerprints. Number one, no two people can have the same fingerprints. Number two, a person have their fingerprints for their whole life. Number three, fingerprint cannot be faked. Number four, it can be used to catch criminals. Number five, it can be recorded so if someone does anything illegal, they can be caught easily. Now the disadvantages of the fingerprints. Number one, fingerprint can be erased after a crime. Number two, at times some fingerprints may not be 100% accurate. Number three, if a fingerprint database is compromised, it could be a significant security risk. Now my friend Mahdi will speak something more about the fingerprint. Our fingerprints are a divine design that enhances security by reflecting the unique patterns assigned to us by the Almighty Creator. Though fingerprint was first discovered in the Quran, meaning, does man think we cannot assemble his bones? Yes, we are able to put in order the very tips of his fingertips perfectly. These believers question the resurrection when bones have disintegrated. But Allah assesses his ability not only to assemble bones, but to assemble the very fingertips perfectly. Why does the Quran, while speaking about the determination of the person's individuality, speak specifically about fingertips? In 1880, fingerprinting became the scientific method of identification after research done by Sir Francis Gott. No two person in the whole world can have exactly the same fingerprint. That's why police forces worldwide use fingerprinting as a way to identify criminals. 1400 years ago, who could have known the uniqueness of each human's fingerprint? Surely it could have been none other than the creator himself. Quote, Allah's creation is a masterpiece, and within each fingerprint lies the unique value of bestowed upon every soul. May Allah keep us away from any imperfection. All praise be to Allah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.